What's going on YouTube? It's Maple Tales back to you with another video and today we're going to be talking about One Piece episode 966 and more specifically I want to talk about Scopper Gabon and you already know One Piece episode 966 was insane like I was so hyped like I watched and rewatched the Whitebeard versus uh, Roger so many times I watched the fight scene and this scene wasn't really in the manga but it's still part of the anime and I, I would just count it as amazing. It was just dope. Like overall amazing. We got to see Jozu, Marco, Buggy and Shanks working together. We got to see young Blackbeard, that snake man. And with Prime Rayleigh, Prime Scopper Gabon. Just the amazing clash between Whitebeard and Roger. It was just honestly such a good, such a good episode. And I'm just really hyped because Odin is an amazing character and there's been a lot of hype with Rayleigh stopping Marco with one finger using that Congress hockey and obviously um, Roger vs Whitebeard is getting a lot of hype but something that's been really downplayed or hasn't really been talked about is Scopper Gabon vs Odin and, and the question I want to talk about today is how strong is Scopper Gabon because yeah the animated part for that scene where Scopper fought Odin wasn't really the best and obviously it's not canon because it was not in the manga. But I just want to talk about theoretically how strong is Scopper Gabon. And if you guys didn't already know, Gold D. Roger, Gold stands for the number one. And then Silver is really as in the second place. And then we got Scopper Gabon, like copper, like bronze, like third place. So basically Scopper, Scopper Gabon is the third strongest person on the Rogers Pirate. And we already know how strong... Roger is basically the strongest person in the whole entire series, equal to Whitebeard, equal to Garp, maybe most likely stronger than both of them, probably stronger than Roxy, Zivek too, we're not too sure, but either way, top tier in this verse. We got Silver's Rayleigh, who we don't really know much about Ray Rayleigh's, but at his old age, this dude was fighting Kizaru basically on equal terms. I mean, he wasn't really going all out or anything, and neither was Kizaru, but the fact that he was hanging with some with an admiral is at his like old age goes to show how OP Rayleigh is and then we have the third strongest person Scopper Gabon and we apps we don't know anything about this dude like there's been many theories about who he is what his powers are but we don't really know we don't know anything and I think it would be cool to say what I think Scopper Gabon and how powerful I think he is and just like how Luffy has Zoro and Sanji in the monster trio and how uh, Zoro is the second strongest and then Sanji is the third strongest it's the same situation same parallels and that Scopper Gabon is basically the, the Sanji of Luffy's crew and then Zoro is the Rayleigh and then Luffy is the, the Roger so that means for sure that although Scopper Gabon is not as strong as Rayleigh he is most likely one of the strongest top tiers in the, in, the, in the verse and considering that he was on the pirate king's crew i would go as far as to say that he is at, is at bare minimum admiral level and i'm saying like he could most likely beat any of the admirals and he could maybe tussle with some of the yongas like i could see him beating or not beating but at least tussling with big mom and kaido maybe he won't be able to win but he'll be able to like throw up a good fight you know big mom kaido like they would fight and they would beat him but it'll be like a high diff you know mid diff to high diff fight so that's where i'm putting um scopper gabon at and the reason for this is because i mean it's not canon but we got to see odin versus scopper gabon and they were sort of like fighting on equal terms sort of i mean it looked like scopper was losing a little bit but based off the fact that he's the gold or he's the bronze of the gold Rogers crew, I must say that Scopper Gabon is most likely stronger than Odin. And I know I might get some hate for saying that, but just based off the story aspect of it and how like it's gold, silver, and bronze, I, I, I personally believe that Scopper Gabon is slightly stronger than Odin. I'm not saying he's like, oh, he's gonna destroy Odin no matter what. Like he's Odin doesn't stand anything against Scopper Gabon. I'm just saying that Gabon can most likely defeat Odin, and it's not an, it's not gonna be an easy. Fight. It's gonna be an extreme high difficulty fight. But that's the level I'm putting Scopper Gabon in. I'm putting a lot of respect on this dude and. The fact that Sanji has to one day live up to like Scopper Gabon most likely, it's more than likely that Sanji by the end of the series uh, when Luffy's Pirate King, he's probably going to be above Admiral level, most likely Yonko level as well. Maybe not as strong as Zoro and Luffy, but he's up there. This is just a speculation video, you know, like I don't know if he has any devil fruit powers, he's more than likely has observation hockey to the max, 
Ornament Hockey to the max. Not too sure if he has Conqueror's Hockey, because we know Odin and Rayleigh and Roger all have um, Conqueror's Hockey, but it's not confirmed that Scopper Gabon does. If he does have Conqueror's Hockey, that would be absolutely broken. Like the fact that Roger has so many people on his crew as Conqueror's Hockey, it, it would be crazy. But, anyways, there's not really much to go off of, but this is just my personal opinion. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Like I said, I would say he's high Admiral tier level or low Yonko level. And if you guys agree, please let me know in the comments down below. Let me know your opinions and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace.